let's talk about how to humanize your music. These are some simple tips to get you going. First up, velocities, one of the easiest and most powerful tools for humanizing your music. Let's start by taking a look at the drums. These hi-hats are flat sounding because all the velocities are the same. But these ones have different velocities and therefore they sound more realistic. For chords, varying the velocities of individual notes can make them feel more dynamic and alive. But if every note has the same velocity, it becomes flat. And this will in return make it sound boring. Make sure that the melody also has velocity changes. Think of it as a live performance. How would you play this on a real keyboard? Next is timing. Perfectly quantized notes can feel robotic, so shifting notes slightly off grid adds a more human touch. For drums, you can use swing or manually nudge some notes off the grid. Another important element is how long the notes are. If every note has the same length, there will be no groove. Take a listen to this bass. Before. After. The same goes for chords. Vary the length of individual notes to create a more hand-played effect to avoid this. It sounds unrealistic and a real player wouldn't play this way. Now, a quick little tip. Use modulations on things like vibratos, cutoff or even volume. Automation curves are your friend. They will add a lot of expression and make your music more dynamic. For melodies, experiment with shorter and longer notes. If every note is connected, it will sound like this. So, those have been my tips for humanizing your music. From velocities and timing, to imperfection and note length and I would highly advise you to get your hands on a MIDI keyboard. This allows you to learn how to play more humanized music. All that.